Hey guys, TechNiverse here. Today we are going to be taking a look at another 3D CAD program. This time it is Design Spark Mechanical. Now this is a free program that was recommended to me by one of the viewers, Alfred Hammer, and I thank him very much for the point out because this is actually pretty awesome. So I haven't gotten too far into this yet, but from what I've seen so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to show you real quick we can just go ahead and open new design and I'll show you one of the things that I really like about this so everything is right here so all I have to do um, say I want to sketch on the plane that's readily available that's it I have my circle then I can go to 3d mode grab this and just pull it which is pretty sweet so I can set the height um, I can go back twice the other cool thing is once you have your primitive shape in there you can go ahead and hit select um, select any face you want and let's do a bezier we can draw on it So you can very quickly make some really unique geometries this way. And I've put some very interesting holes and in things, kind of just playing around, you know. Um, but it works really well. It's super fast. Everything has been really, really intuitive so far as to how to control everything. So basically, you have your view controls up here. You can spin, pan, zoom, all of that. Or you can home, and it'll put you in a nice three-quarter view. Um, I can pretty much. I don't have to be in one of these to extrude it. I can pretty much grab any face and pull, make this larger. Let's say I want this side to be up a little higher. Let's say I want it to be up by five millimeters. Boom, pretty quick. Uh, and then if I want to take a look, I can just grab spin. The other nice thing is in some of the other pro pro programs that I used, I had a hard time getting a hold of like round edges like this. So basically here, all you have to do is again, um, hit select Oop, you gotta do it in three, 3d mode and select the outside face of the cylinder and then if you hit plan view it'll flatten it out for you and then I can go ahead and just bore a hole in right here let's go back to 3d mode hit select spin around and find my circle we will boom so it's it's really intuitive really fast really really uh, I don't really have the words to describe it this is probably the most efficient CAD program I've seen as far as picking it up and being able to learn what you're doing and just kind of running through things and, and figuring it out they also have this sweet 3d model repository where if you have a better internet connection than me because mine's kind of shoddy at the moment uh, you can go in and they have a ton of different models so you can search by title stuff like that or you can go in here and check out some of the, the stuff they already have let's check out uh, computing and peripherals what do they got all sorts of stuff ceramic antennas this is basically um, just little components for motherboard stuff if you're building a motherboard stuff like that so um, pretty cool I can go in and grab any of these all of these ones that are showing right now are free so that's pretty awesome as well I'm gonna go ahead and close this and they also have a ton of tutorials so I mean right when you open it this shows up this is their start page is how do I make a Turner's cube um, I'm gonna be checking that out that looks very intriguing they have the share the design spark love a uh, little promotion they got going on and how do I create a perfectly round shape for my 3d printing uh, this basically is designed specifically for 3d printing to jump in and have it be fast responsive and turn around models and designs pretty quickly and it does an excellent job of that so um, that's basically it I will leave the download link down below guys don't forget to check this one out as always this channel is brought to you by these fine patreon supporters 
If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.